What is my hair doing? That's better. I just blow dried my hair. And I hate when it's, when it's like all like hot and like sticks to your neck. Oh, that's what's happening to me now. Ew. My hair keeps on doing a weird thing. Hey guys, how are you doing? I've missed you. There he is. Any tea? Spill the goss. I should have said that the other way around actually. Any goss? Spill the tea. <laughs> I'm drinking water today. I feel like I'm always drinking something on camera. Gotta stay hydrated, you know? Anyway guys, let's get stuck in to this video. Today, I have my little notes, per usual. And I want to do the Irish tag. Because if you didn't know already, I'm Irish. I think he's new already, to be honest. But for those of you who didn't, hi, I'm Leanne and I'm Irish. Nice to meet you. So there's like 12 questions. So let's get stuck in, should we? Question one. I don't know why I did that. Question one. How many cups of tea do you have a day? Slash how many sugars? Well, not slash, just also how many sugars? The little two part question. Okay, so how many cups of tea do I have a day? Mm, on average, I'd have like one when I get up, breakfast, one around lunchtime, possibly one then in between lunch and then waiting for dinner, one after dinner, one when I'm being cosy watching YouTube in the evening, and then sometimes before I go to bed, or if I'm watching like a Shane Dawson series that goes on for like half an hour, 40 minutes, I'm like, need that tea. <laughs> So what was that, like five or six or something? I lost count, to be honest, when I said Shane Dawson, he distracted me because, oh my God, I just finished watching the Jeffree Star series last night. <gasps> Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, I don't want it to be over, but at the same time, like, it was a mental battle trying to watch it because, well, not trying to watch it, like getting myself to watch it because I was like, obviously you want to watch the series because it's so good, but at the same time, you don't want to watch it because then once you watch it, it's over and you're like, what did I do in my life before Shane Dawson had this series out? <laughs> That's how I feel like at the end of every Shane Dawson series. I'm like, what did I do before this? I don't know. But yeah, oh my God, hopefully he... I don't want to like spoil it on anybody who, do, who didn't see it, but you said in a part of it that he's thinking on doing a, another series that goes on for like way longer. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And I hope, I hope, let's just manifest that. Let's put it out into the universe. He is going to make that series... It is going to be amazing. It's out there now. Anyway, I'm getting so sidetracked talking about the goss. What was the second part of that? How many sugars? I do not have sugar in my tea because that's nasty. That's not nice. I do not like that. I've never had sugar in my tea and I never will have sugar in my tea. I do not agree with sugary tea. <laughs> that rhymes. Love a good rhyme, I do. Question two. What type of tea do you drink? I drink Aldi tea. Well, like Aldi is a shopping, uh, is a supermarket. Yeah, supermarket, that's the word. It's a supermarket here in Ireland. I think it's like German or something, but like it's cheap, it's cheerful. It's all you need in your life. Like, hello. But if I'm talking about like branded tea, it'd be Lion's tea, which is Irish. Um, there's Barry's tea also. I drink that too, but like we don't really get that that much. If we're getting a branded tea, it's always Lions usually. But other than that, we just drink um, Aldi tea. I'm not, honestly, I'm not fussy with my tea. I don't really get people who are fussy with their tea. Because I don't like to discriminate based on tea. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, Aldi or else if it's a brand, it's uh, Lions. Also, sorry if the light is like changing in and out because I'm just using my window light as usual. So, and the sun, there's loads of clouds out today. So the sun likes to go like in and out, in and out. So sorry about that. There's nothing I can do because obviously I can't control sunlight. I wish I could. Um, where was I? Question three. Favorite, can you just hear that? Is my window open actually? Ugh. Why does a guy have to come out with a drill? Or whatever the hell he's doing. I don't think my window is open. No, it's not. Oh, I really hope you can hear that. Uh, wait, let me check. Is my window... Oh, shit, my window is open. Okay, I'll close my window really quickly because you can probably hear that. There we go. Holy Jesus, he's still really loud. 
I'm trying to film here. <laughs> Imagine me just sticking my, sticking my head out my window. Shut up. <laughs> Tempted. Right, let's get comfy again because now I'm all, all discombobulated, you know. Where was my frame? Messing up my sound. He's messing up my frame. And now he stopped. Moving on. What question was that? I'm so lost. Question three. Favourite part of a fry? Ooh. My favourite part of a fry it Can you hear that? He's back again. Really? Really? <laughs> My favourite part of a fry is the- oh, I'm just gonna have to shout now. <laughs> the, my favourite part of a fry is the pudding. Black and white pudding, but specifically black pudding. Oh, when I was younger I used to only like- well, not only. I used to prefer white over black, but now I prefer black pudding over white pudding. It's delish. Delish. Question four. Favourite Dunkin' Biscuit? Mmm. Oh, now I want Bickies and tea. My favourite Dunkin' Biscuit would be, oh, Bourbon Biscuits. I love Bourbon Biscuits. Mm. Like, give me a pack of Bourbon Biscuits, I could easily just sit there with a cup of tea and inhale the whole packet. Like, they are addictive. Oh my god. But like, I love Hobnobs as well, because they're like, oh, and lovely. And like, rich tea or digestives don't go miss, but they're a bit flimsy. I like a good sturdy biscuit, you know? Like, you don't want to lose it halfway through the Dunkin' and it's just floating there. Ugh. But yeah. Bourbon. Love it. Love a good Bourbon. Question five. Favourite Irish pastime? What's an Irish pastime? What makes it Irish? Irish dancing? I don't Irish dance. I did in primary school, but like everybody had to learn it in primary school. Um, Irish? I don't know. I suppose any pastime can be Irish, can't it? Because I do it in Ireland. <laughs> Cheating. Um, is drinking a favourite pastime? Well, that'd be Irish because people think we're stereotypically like alcoholics but we're not drinking guinness no i only drink guinness on oh my hair's being weird again i only drink guinness on paddy's day making youtube is that an irish pastime let's go with that question six favorite irish word like a word from the irish language oh there's kelsey are you gonna want to come in now kelsey do you want to come in yep she wants to come in B or B. Hi, Poppy. You come in? Sorry about that. She didn't want to come in. I think she just wants me to go downstairs and chill with her. So, yeah. Five minutes, guess. Five minutes. <laughs> God, I'm getting so distracted in this video. So sorry, but that's my life. What was that? What was I on? Question six. Favourite Irish word? Mm, okay, I'm going to presume that's like an actual Irish language word. Because other than that, I'll just be picking English words when you think about it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, that was a stupid explanation. That was just... Okay. <laughs> Favourite Irish word? Um... The... Um... I say the... The... My... How do you say it? My most used? Yeah, that's the word. How do you say it? I say my most used Irish word would probably be, be the word banya, which means milk. Because if I'm making a cup of tea or coffee and you need the milk, like I'd be like, oh, I need the banya. Or like if someone's already at the fridge, like my mom or dad or my sister or something, I'd just be like, oh, can you, can you get me out the banya, please? Or like, can you leave the banya out for me like I'm going to use it? So yeah, other than that, yeah, so banya, which means milk, or else I'd say ishka, which means water. So, like, if I'm dehydrated, I'm like, oh, need need to drink that ishka. Like, oh, you haven't had enough ishka today. Ishka. Drink your ishka, kids. <laughs> Stay hydrated. I thought I said it wrong there. See, I can't even speak Irish. Anyway. So yeah, banya or ishka, which means milk or water. Question seven, favourite Irish saying? Saying? Well, like, the only, like, sentence in Irish, well, I don't even use it, but the only sentence that I, like, 100% know how to say is, can I go to the toilet? Because you have to learn how to say that in school, because you have to say it in Irish. <clears throat> and it's, unwell cat gum dulgaji on lettuce, means can I go to the toilet? You have to put up your hand and be like, I'm well, Kat, I'm Dougie and Larris, and then she'd be like, Ta or me, is how you say yes or no in Irish? See, I don't even know, can't remember. 
can't remember, be grand. Everyone in Ireland just says, be grand. Like, if you fail a test, be grand. If you spill your water over, I'll be grand, just get a towel. Um, I don't know, if you're late for the bus, be grand, we'll get there, be grand. Like, everything's just be grand. You can basically use that in, like, any, like, be grand. Everything would be grand. Be grand. Be grand. Okay, I think I said be grand enough times. Question eight, favorite Irish food or sweet? I don't really eat sweets, but a pack of potato, cheese and onion crisps, can't go amiss. I love me a pack of potato. Or Capri's dairy milk chocolate. But I'm pretty sure that's British. Well, I'm British. Like, I'm pretty sure that's English. It's made in England. Although there is a Capri's... Or at least there used to be a Capri's factory in Dublin. I'd have to Google it, but I'm pretty sure a Capri's is English. Hmm. So yeah, probably potato, cheese and onion crisps. Oh, lovely. Question nine. What would your Irish pub be called? Ooh. If I had a pub, an Irish pub, it would be called The Life of Riley. Because that's a saying in Ireland that you're like living the good life or living the high life. Like Life of Riley. But also I love it because my second name is Riley. So it's like I'm obviously living the life of Riley because my name's Leanne Riley. So I love that saying. Like if I'm flaked out somewhere, I'm like living the life of Riley. <laughs> it's just gas. Actually, funny story, story time. Um, that was actually the second option for this channel. When I was naming this channel, I didn't what I didn't know whether to self-title it like I did, like call it Leanne Riley, or call it the life of Riley. But just because like the life of Riley, like the kind of meaning behind it, like probably only Irish people would get it. And like if anybody came across my channel in like England or America, they they'd be like. Like, they wouldn't get it kind of thing. I don't know. I explained that really weird. But basically, I just went with Leanne Riley. So, yeah, my Irish pub will be called Life of Riley. Because that's my life. And I'm living the life of Riley. Yes. Question 10. Number one favourite Irish person? Probably Saoirse Ronan. Because she's in fab films. I love all the films that she's in. She picks scripts really well. Because all the films that she's in, like, I like and I enjoy them. Like, they won't be my favourite films. But, like, I always enjoy them. So, it's good. And she's around my age, she's like 23 or so, so that's pretty cool. She's doing really well for herself, fair play. Shout out to Sir Ronan if you see this. Keep up the good work, girl. You're doing good. Shout out to Irish people, hey. Yeah. <laughs> what? What am I saying? <laughs> Question 11, favourite Irish restaurant? I don't know if I have a favourite Irish restaurant. I like Nando's, but I'm pretty sure that's English as well. In Ireland, I just like our hotel, because anywhere you go in a hotel, on the weekend, particularly Sundays, uh, you can get a carvery, which is basically like a Sunday roast. You can get like a turkey and ham dinner or a beef dinner with like spud, veg, oh, lovely, gravy and all. So like, you can't beat a carvery. So yeah, carvery. Specifically, my favourite hotel um, in Mead, like around where I live, is the Castle Arch Hotel in Trim, County Mead. Shout out to you guys. You make lovely food. Never disappoint. Big thumbs up from me. So yeah, that'd be my favourite restaurant. And last question, question 12 is your favourite Irish song? My favourite Irish song, can that be like any Irish artist or does it have to be, well, not in the Irish language because I don't know any Irish language songs. But I suppose I'll go old school. Hmm... Yeah, I'll go old school, like, rather than just picking, like, a song by the script or code line, because obviously they're Irish, but I'm going to go with a song by, like, the Dubliners or someone that's, like, Irish roots. Um, I like the song Whiskey in the Jar by, by the Dubliners, because it's just a good sing-song song, like a sing-along song. And probably the, is it the Wild Rover by the Dubliners as well? That's also a good sing-song. Like, just when you're like with your family or friends like having a few drinks at a party or whatever like it just it comes on and everyone just knows the, the, the words it's one of those kind of songs um yeah i think that's it that is all the questions for today that was fun i actually enjoyed it i love talking about ireland i really should have had a cup of tea with this actually or a pint of guinness probably would have got taken down then though
Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if you were Irish, I tag you to do this tag and then either tag me in the comments or send it to me on Twitter or Instagram because I'd love to see it. And yeah, if you're watching this video, I tag you to do it even if you're not Irish. If you're like American, English, just flip the questions around to like make sense to you like the American tag the British tag Spanish tag whatever you want to do I'd love to see though spread it around share it with your friends give it a like if you like this video comment down below if you're gonna do it send it to me subscribe if you haven't already and I think that's everything for today guys until next time bye wait what no I just go until next time toodles